Hey guys, it's T-Rex here, and welcome to um, a brand new um, game commentary on Assassin's Creed Unity. Um, I just got this game a couple days ago, and it's uh, looking uh, pretty awesome. So, um, so the setting is going to be in um, late 18th century Paris, just right after the French Revolution. So as you can see, um, Ubisoft has done a great job uh, basically um, setting up the city. And it looks pretty much uh, like what it, it what it was during the 18th century. And so here I'm just standing um, on a pretty uh, tall tower right here. Um, on I believe it is the northeastern part of town. And here I'm just looking at the city center, and you can see the Notre Dame right there. Uh, and I have, I have a side view of it, and yeah, it is. I already done the mission in it, and it, it was really awesome. And uh, yeah, so I was just want to say good job Ubisoft for uh, making it. And also on that side, uh, we have the Bastille, which is the famous prison and how the French Revolution started. And that's at I believe uh, the eastern part of town. So we're we're kind of just um, in a triangle situation right here. So um, I'm just gonna. Sh I'm not gonna really. Uh, show you guys a lot today um i'm just gonna show you guys some basic gameplay that's it but i think overall this game is pretty awesome all right let's do um a synchronize first here you can see the awesome um textures of the city and how huge it is i'm very impressed so notre dame and uh bastille you just saw it again I mean, I'm not uh, that uh, knowledgeable, or what do you call it, because there must be a lot more um, places of interest that's in this game. I'm just not, um, I'm interested in history, but I'm just not uh, that uh, into um, French history, so I don't really know a lot more about these um, very famous places. There, I, there's a lot of churches and palaces around um, in this map that I just don't know uh, their origins or what they're called, so I'm not going to try to do that. And um, so you guys can leave a comment um, on what other uh, thing, what other famous buildings that we just saw um, just previously in this video. So now I'm just doing some um, free running here. So Ubisoft uh, basically introduced a brand new uh, free running system, and I think it's pretty cool. Um, sometimes it's a little bit buggy, but I think in the future patches, patches they're gonna fix it, so that won't, won't be much of a problem right here. So now um, uh, we're just heading towards uh, where Bastille is, and because I haven't got the synchronize in uh, in Bastille yet, so I want to actually get it. As you can see, it's on the far side right there. Um, it's actually not that, uh, the weather's, you can see, is not really that great, but, um, yeah, we'll head towards there. And also, um, a very nice thing that I noticed is that, uh, now a lot of open windows, um, are present in the city, um, m much more than, uh, where Assassin's Creed 3, uh, were, were, were like, how much, how many, how many windows there were in Assassin's Creed 3, I really like that, because they're perfect escape routes, and, um, yeah, they can help you a lot. Oh, and here, I really like these events too, where you have to sometimes uh, capture the murderer or uh, capture a thief. I mean, it, they're just pretty fun, and it adds a little bit of spice to what you're doing. Um, let's see if I can get this thief, actually. He's running there towards me. I have to climb up. Oh my god, okay. I don't know, man. I wasn't looking. Here. Now I have to jump down. Alright, we can get him. I think we can get him. Alright, here. He's not far. I'm gonna help this lady get his get her um, purse back. There we go. Yeah, so there's a lot of um, street events like this, and I really like them because they actually give you rewards after you've done them. So it's not like you feel like that they're kind of a nuisance because they actually help you a lot. And so, as you can see, the streets are very um, lively. And uh, there's lots of people, and there's like protests everywhere since the government. The new government has just been set up, and there's a uh, very uh, 
they're, they're like two divisions, the Loyalists and um, the Patriots. So they're trying to fight uh, to gain control of the government. So you can see many protests everywhere, especially around the famous landmarks like Notre Dame and the um, um, Bastille and one of the and around one of the statues on the north in the north side of the city, which I don't know which is which um, what it's called, but there's always a lot of people there. So as you can see, this is Bastille. And um, this is a famous prison where a, a lot of political prisoners were uh, basically um, captured here. And I'm just going to go in because you can see uh, on the minimap, there's the eagle symbol. That means that's where the synchronization point is. And it's right there at the little um, board right there. So I'm going to get up there. So one thing I don't like though is that in um, Assassin's Creed Unity, it seems like you can drop from a very high uh, altitude and still do not take any damage, and I don't like that. People, like, I mean, to be more realistic, you have to take damage once you jump from a high ground. I mean, it's just not possible like this. And um, here, actually, if we're here, you just you guys must just want want to take a look inside the uh, Bastille, and actually you can. Whoa, okay, I was seen. Okay, okay, fine. I'll just gonna I'm just gonna kill you I guess. So I really like the assassin moves. So there, there, uh, I guess I like the Assassin's Creed 4 assassin moves much better because um when you like when you're running towards them you actually have like two blades and you can actually um uh basically nail them onto the ground. But um I like this too. It it looks more like more like a movie. So I don't know. Tell me what you guys think about it. So here let me show you another one. See, I like that one really much. It's just like a very swift slash, and um, yeah, it's it's basically what an assassin should do, I guess. So um, here, basically what I, what you what you just saw was like here. Okay, so my disguise. Uh, I was trying to show you guys my disguise ability, but I think I accidentally pressed R twice and canceled it. So basically, there's a new disguise ability where you can actually disguise um, as an enemy that you point to, and uh, uh, once you disguise as him, you can basically infiltrate a lot of places. But like, um, you can't go very close to where the enemies are, or they'll actually know. Will they actually uh, discover you? How do you go up there? I mean, uh, there seems to be a bug. Okay, I don't know. There should be a way to get up there. I mean, uh, come on. Okay, we'll just explore more of Bastille, I guess. So, as you guys can see, this is the famous prison, and you can see the uh, prisoner can uh, the cell conditions at the time, and this is the famous Eagle Vision of every uh, Assassin's Creed game. Just trying to seek out some enemies and where they are. Okay, let's see if this window can go up. I'm not sure if it can. But uh, let's try, you know. Um, yeah. Just go around. We see another one. Okay, we kill him again. And we see another guy. And here, I, I'm using my Crescent Glaive. This is my weapon right now. It's a spear. I really like the spear, spear type that they added into this game. That they keep enemies um, afar, and you can, and I I just think they're really cool. So uh, here, I think uh, I think we're getting close to uh, where we can get actually get up. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, this I get up right. I'm not sure. I never actually like. I know in the uh, prologue or chapter or uh, sequence one, you actually get to um, escape from Bastille, but I actually um, I don't. But I I don't think I actually um. Okay, where am I? I don't think I actually explored it. So I don't know. Wait, what? Okay. I don't know. Okay, you're dead. See ya. Okay, so anyways, um, I, we're just trying to find a way up right now. It's kind of weird. We can't find it. There's like so many levels. Okay, here. We can see uh, a lift right out there, but I don't know how to get out. Like... We need to get out to be able to use that. It's like every window is like barred. But yeah, that's prison, so yeah, sure. Every window should be barred, but um... I don't know. How do you get out of here? Yeah, it's like a maze to me. Oh my god. Okay, here we go. 
Oh man. Okay, I don't think this works either. I think you just have to get in. And um okay, we'll try to find a way, you know. And that's a that's basically a hiding place when you want to assassin guards from uh assassin the guards from cover. That's where you go. And actually this is um I don't know. This is this looks kind of a uh, desolate this place. I don't know why people have been and this guy's just like randomly walking. I don't know why. Is he a prisoner? I don't know. Okay, here, let's go up the stairs. Um Wow. Okay, where am I Mike? Okay, mate, this might just be the way up, you know. So uh, let's see if there's any guards around here. It seems that they're nothing. There's always people just sitting around here. I don't know what they're doing. Like it this is a prison. I mean, you're not supposed to be hanging around here. So I don't know. Are you a guard? Or no you're not. Okay. Okay, well how do I how do I get out? How do I get out? Okay, oh, there's more stairs. Alright, here we go. Because you guys know that the synchronization point is basically always the highest place that a place goes, so um highest point a place goes. So I don't know. I think we're on top right now. And there's two guards. Okay, here we go. Uh here they also have a pistol system. And it's pretty effective. You might, you guys might think the combat is easy from what I'm doing, cause um, actually my weapon is already a 5,000 um credit weapon, so it's actually very powerful for uh, this stage of the game, which is I believe after sequence four only. So, um, your actually combat is much harder than the previous um Assassin's Creed games. Uh, they increase the difficulty uh, by a lot. Now, like, three enemies can attack you at once, and you can only parry one of them. So, uh, this is not actually, uh, the actual, um, fighting footage. I would, um, update a new video on that, um, later. And here, okay. So here, you can see the intricate, uh, designs of Bastille. It's really cool. Look at that, look at that. Oh, my God. Okay, here. Look at the cannons. That uh, they used to defend, defend the uh, Bastille, and here we are on the synchronization point. Um, and you can, as you guys can see, uh, that's Notre Dame. And I'm trying to find the tower that way it came from. Yeah, right there. That was the tower that we started. Um, that was when we started this. Uh, when I was where where I was at, blah, where I was at when I when we started this video. So um, yeah, so. As we can see, it's the, I mean, this map is very um, neat, and um, yeah, a lot of open world activities to do, and I'm not yet done with the cam uh, campaign, so I'll share my experiences with that um, later, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is my first time doing Assassin's Creed Unity, so um, yeah, uh, subscribe for further follow-ups, and throw in a like if you enjoyed it. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.